plate muzzleloader always separates the men from the boys a little bit with deer hunting. Wait on it. Sit down. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zach with Iowa Plainsman Outdoors. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted, like, a new video. I had some issues with uh, memory space, basically, on both my camera memory cards and my computer. I had so much video. So, uh, I didn't get some of my last duck hunts filmed. Which is too bad, but I've got that issue fixed now, and unfortunately duck season is over here in Iowa. But deer season for us has begun. Um, we are doing late muzzleloader here in Iowa. So myself and Andy are out. We got a couple of tags, um, and really, I'm, I'm not really a trophy hunter when it comes to deer. I'm mostly, I just like hunting them, and I like eating them. Um, so for the most part, I'm just kind of going to, for something to get in the freezer. And Andy has never killed a deer before, so I'm going to see if we can get him his first deer as well. Um, but we were hunting out at my grandpa's place. It's private, uh, you know, private ground, of course, which is nice. A lot of deer hunting in Iowa is private. Um, but he's got a little bit of field, or he's got quite a bit of field, and then a little bit of timber. So we're going to kind of go in today, um, <clears throat> sort of just kind of get oriented. I've actually not really hunted this place before. And... Um, I'm kind of behind the curve on deer hunting. You know, when it comes to deer hunting, it's like August, I'm fishing and getting ready for duck hunting. September through early December, I'm duck hunting because I like duck hunting a lot more than deer hunting, to be honest. But I do like to deer hunt. Uh, and then it's like duck season's over at the end of December and like I'm not ready for deer hunting at all. So we're going to go in and we're going to kind of see, we're going to set up a few trail cams just to kind of have them running throughout this three week season. And uh, see, see if there's some spots that we want to put a blind and stuff like that. Um, and maybe kind of sit for a bit if we want to. We saw quite a few deer driving down here, so that's a good sign. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get uh, get our orange on and get our muzzle loaders ready and kind of start walking in. So as far as my muzzle loader setup, um, I have the CVA Optima SS. Um, First muzzleloader I bought, you know, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. Um, but it's done pretty well. I've shot half the deer I've killed with it. Um, and I have the Nikon BDC scope on mine as well. Actually, I really like this sling as well. Uh, I think it's just called the claw. It's a really good sling. It really helps prevent uh, the sling from slipping down my shoulder. Alrighty, so Andy and I just went into town after kind of looking around and getting a lay of the land, and uh, we got a couple of things that we needed. Um, and we're coming back. What we're going to do right now, we're going to set up our trail cams. Um, this late muzzleloader season is three weeks, so even though it's not a great sample of time for the deer movement, you usually want to put them out a lot earlier. It'll help us out a little bit. See what's in the area. Um, we're going to get our blind set up for sitting tomorrow morning as well. Um, of course, we're gonna, when, what we're doing is we'll have the muzzle loaders with us and everything. You know, like I said, it is still hunting season and we are still where we can hunt, so um, we'll always have those with us. But we're gonna get that stuff set up and then I got some Christmas stuff I gotta go to. It's Christmas weekend, so um, I'm gonna go do that and then we'll be back out uh, tomorrow morning too to actually sit and hunt. I think we're gonna put it about right, right there. I think this. This area that's all matted down is what are going to be your primary area. 
but they might be coming from the side too. Alright, that's camera one and it's watching basically there's this draw that's splitting the fields. There's a pond just over here which is frozen up now. But it's, there's this draw that's splitting the fields and there's all kinds of uh, you know, deer droppings, deer trails, stuff like that coming through here. I'm thinking they cross in this area. So for camera number two, we're going to put it on that tree. And uh, there's some draws that congregate coming out of this field right here near the neighbor's property. There's a big draw that goes way down there. There's a draw that runs kind of along, along here. And this little mini draw comes up here. And there's a fair amount of sign right here too. So we're going to put a camera up on this tree right here. So that cam is set, although it needs some new batteries. So it's going to get those tomorrow. And uh, we're going to go set one more. So this is another good draw area. It's a very steep draw right here goes down into the timber um, coming out of this field the draw is pretty it's a pretty long draw and of course there's the field behind me as well this whole area just has game sign all over it so we're trying to put a cam in this tree to try and cover a little more area uh, with that camera okay so all three of our cameras are set now and uh, we're gonna kind of pick a spot pick a spot any spot we're going to come and just kind of set up tomorrow morning and just sit um, and, and wait. So we're going to throw the blind up now so we're not making noise and spending time doing that in the morning. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get that done. But this is definitely my favorite way to deer hunt is just sit and ambush. Like, um, I, I haven't gotten into bow hunting. I just don't have the time for it. You know, i got a respect for bow hunters, but I just... I just don't have the time. Um, you know, I just like to sit. I know some guys will drive deer, like they'll they'll stack guys up on one side of the timber that'll sit, and then they'll have some other guys on the other side that'll walk in and push them. But I just don't do that. Um, we just like to sit for them for the most part, and uh, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow morning. But tomorrow morning we'll just kind of see if we're we're right. We're just kind of gonna you know, pick a spot that looks okay, see how it pans out adjust from there look at the trail camera photos next week you know that kind of thing and see where we're see where we're at